Ron DeSantis wants to strip away your right to abortion. Brian Kemp made abortion a crime before, before many women even know they are pregnant. And it's outrageous to mandate what a woman can and can't do with their body. Wonderful. Baby has a nice, strong heartbeat. Everything's developing right on schedule. Since this is your first, you may want to take advantage of the free parenting classes we offer. I do need to prepare you for the possibility of a C-section and some long-term health issues. But for now, our focus is baby, and baby looks great. Congratulations. I'm Val Demings. As a police officer, some of the worst cases I worked were sexual assaults. It's outrageous to mandate what a woman can and can't do with their body. Marco Rubio wants to criminalize abortions with no exceptions for victims of rape or incest. Well, I know something about fighting crime, Senator Rubio. Rape is a crime. Incest is a crime. Abortion is not. I'm Val Demings, and I approve this message. I want to share my story so others can know that they are not alone. When my mom and dad were first expecting, the pregnancy had complications and there was very little chance of survival. My mom's health was at risk too. She chose to end the pregnancy. It was my decision, not some politicians. Every woman should have the right to make her own decision. And I'll fight alongside you every step of the way until you do. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Political campaign ads are meant to introduce people to a politician running for office. You've all seen them. They're commonplace. They've become fairly generic and formulaic. But every once in a while, a new ad by a new politician comes out that subverts expectations and touches a nerve because it speaks to the moment in which we are living. And that is what happened last week when Katie Darling, a Louisiana Democrat running for a seat in the House of Representatives, released her latest campaign ad. As she speaks in a voiceover about Louisiana's draconian abortion ban and the lack of support the state gives poor pregnant women, the ad features footage of Darling going through labor. I'm Katie Darling, and I live on a farm in St. Tammany Parish. Our family composts, collects rainwater, and grows our own food. My husband and daughter help take care of the chickens. And there's someone else who's going to be joining us and helping to pitch in with farm life very soon. But these days, I worry about storms that are stronger and more frequent because of climate change, about our kids underperforming public schools, and about Louisiana's new abortion ban, one of the strictest and most severe in the country. We should be putting pregnant women at ease, not putting their lives at risk. I haven't spent my career in Washington. I've worked my way up from bartender to CEO. Now, I help nurses organize our complicated health records. Because nurses aren't just heroes, they're saints. Louisiana deserves better than the path we're on. I'm Katie Darling, and I'm running for Congress because I want that better path. For you, for her, and here we go, for him.
And we've talked so much all year about the economy and inflation being important issues. How about this? This is a New York Times poll, brand new here, asking voters, what's the top issue on your mind this election? I haven't seen it this dramatic in a poll. 